Hello, my dear friends. I am computer. Do you remember, how I am very helpful to you? You have learned, that, I am an electronic device. I take input data from you. Process it. And provides you meaningful information, or, output. Do you want to know, how exactly I work? What are my parts? Let's learn about it today. A computer system. By the end of this session, you will learn about meaning of a computer system, IPO cycle of a computer system, input, output, and storage devices, hardware and software. A computer is a smart machine. It works on electricity, and helps you accomplish your tasks faster. It has different parts to do different types of work. All these parts work together to make the computer system work. Monitor CPU Keyboard And mouse are the main parts. And speakers Microphone And printer are traditional parts. Working of a computer? When somebody asks you a question, how do you respond? You first hear it. Then you understand the meaning. And you give an answer, right? So, listening to the question refers to, the input data. Understanding the question refers to, processing the data. Answering the question after listening and understanding refers to, providing output. This is called the input, process, output. IPO, cycle. We follow the IPO cycle to do various tasks in our daily life. Similarly, a computer also follows the IPO cycle. The devices that are used to enter data into the computer, are called input devices. The input data is processed by a processing device. Here, raw data is converted into meaningful information. The devices that are used to show the result, after processing, are called output devices. And, the devices that are used to store the output, are called storage devices. Do you think, playing piano follows the IPO cycle? Yes. You need your fingers and piano as input. You press piano buttons to play the piano, is nothing but processing. And the music coming out of the piano is output. Now let us learn, input devices. The input devices help enter text and give instructions to the computer. First is, keyboard. The computer keyboard is used to type the text into the computer. It has alphabet keys from A to Z, numbered keys from 0 to 9, and special keys, such as the space bar, control, alter, delete, backspace keys, etc. Mouse The computer mouse is a pointing device, that helps to point different things on the computer. It also helps to draw, color, and play games on the computer. Microphone A microphone is used to record different sounds on the computer. It is also called mic. A joystick makes playing computer games a lot more fun. Scanner A scanner copies pictures, or text, from a paper, to the computer. It converts paper pages, into digital pages, or a hard copy into a soft copy. A web camera is used to take live photos and videos. Processing devices The processing device helps the computer to store, arrange, and sort the input. CPU is a processing device of a computer. The processing device in a computer is called the Central Processing Unit, CPU. It is present inside the CPU box. 
Let us see the features of CPU. It is the brain of the computer. It processes data. It stores data, results, and instructions. It controls the operations of all parts of the computer. It consists of three parts. Arithmetic logic unit, control unit, and memory unit. ALU It performs arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Memory unit It stores the data and the instructions required for processing the final results. Control unit It manages and coordinates with input and output devices for the transfer of data and instructions among other units of a computer. Output devices Output devices show the result after processing the input. Monitor The computer monitor looks like a television screen. It shows what you type or draw. The monitor is also called VDU, that is, Visual Display Unit. Visual Display Unit comes in different sizes, like 10 inches, 15 inches, 17 inches, 19 inches, and 21 inches. Two common types of monitors are Cathode Ray Tube, CRT, and Liquid Crystal Display, LCD. Speakers Speakers are used to hear sound effects or listen to music on the computer. Printer A printer is used to print information that you see on the monitor to paper. The printed paper is called a printout. Hard disk A hard disk is inside the CPU box. It can store a large amount of information. CD or DVD. CD stands for compact disc. DVD stands for digital versatile disc. CDs and DVDs are circular discs that store information. A CD and DVD work when inserted into the CD or DVD drive. A DVD stores more information than a CD. A pen drive is used to store information. It is also used to transfer information from one computer to another. Pen drive is also known as a flash drive. It works when inserted into the USB. Universal Serial Bus Port Now let us learn about hardware and software. A computer system can be classified into hardware and software. Hardware refers to the physical parts of a, a computer that you can touch and feel. Some examples of hardware are keyboard, monitor, scanner, and pen drive. Software refers to the set of instructions given to a computer. These instructions guide the hardware in the computer system to perform a particular task. Examples of software are Tux Paint, Paint, and WordPad. Different kinds of software help in achieving tasks of different nature. System Software It is built in and ensures the smooth functioning of a computer system. It works like the manager of the computer system, which controls and manages different activities of the system. System software consists of an operating system. Every computer must have an operating system to run the programs. Example Microsoft Windows Application Software It is a set of instructions designed for a specific task. It makes the computer very useful. Example WordPad Notepad and calculator. Using the paint program, you can draw and color on the computer. Using WordPad and Notepad, 
you can type poems, stories, and passages. Using the calculator program, you can solve sums. Both hardware and software are interdependent, and cannot work without each other. So children, now did you understand? How I am helpful to you. Do remember my parts, and its uses. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.